evening. That plane was only in the air for about five minutes before it landed on the expressway. Tonight, one of the passengers who was on board is still here at Silver Cross Hospital. Her family says she closed her eyes before that landing and braced for impact. A small plane sits in the center of I-355. That white beach craft forced to make an emergency landing on the tollway in New Lenox due to mechanical issues. I took a drive and seen the plane. It's just uh, God's son that he could land it. Yeah, he like did. Like he did. Kirsten McKim was on that plane. The 21 year old now in the hospital with a severe back injury. She was in a lot of pain, her back. McKim calling her family moments after that plane landed on the roadway. She wow. said she just closed her eyes and hoped Hugged for the her. best. <laughs> Hugged her best friend, told her she loved her. The pilot has now been identified by Illinois State Police as 39 year old Jason Bufton. Bufton's two daughters and their close friend McKim all planning to head to Indianapolis for the day. It more or less lost power and had to find a place to land. The plane took off from Lewis University Airport this morning. According to flight records, it was only in the air for about five minutes. He's a hero. Saved all their lives, that's for sure. I mean, it could have been way worse than what it was. That landing was rough. Drivers shocked that everyone's okay. It just dropped right out of the sky. I just couldn't believe that the way it impacted against the concrete uh, and stopped immediately that they would be alive. It was just amazing. No serious injuries were reported. The emergency landing, though, still under investigation.